Hey, Ruby! Oh, hello, you freak <laughs> thing. Sweet thing? What happened? What'd I do? You gave me that wonderful gift. Oh, come on! You thanked us for that yesterday, and you deserve it, too, for having that party for us here. That was so nice. Thank you. Listen, everybody who comes into Kelly talks about that shipwreck diorama. Well, it must drive you crazy when you're rushed, huh? No, I love it. Really? Hey, I gotta ask you something. Shoot. Why is Felicia toting that bag with her everywhere she goes? Bag? I have no idea. I mean, it's so silly, and it's getting in the way of her work. I'll check it out, okay? okay. Goodbye. I'm going on a trip. I'm so glad you're here. I am so nervous. Does it have anything to do with the luggage you have here? Made by the jewels. What? Now don't be asked. What the hell are you carrying them in there for? I don't want to leave them under the bed. So you're carrying them around so the whole world can see? I know they're in here. Well, if Donald walks through that door, he's going to see that and he's going to know exactly what's in it. This is ridiculous. Don't call attention to us. Don't call attention to us? What do you call carrying this bag around? That's calling attention to us. What else can I do? You should have left it upstairs under the bed. Well, I feel safer if it's with me. Wait, you look like... You look like a fool carrying that around, and it's conspicuous. Would you like to carry it? No, thank you. I'm not into carrying it first. Well, I'm not going to leave it upstairs. You can't carry them around like a side order of french fries. One Aztec crown to go. This whole thing is ridiculous. I mean, you're walking around probably with a million dollars worth of jewels in this bag. We have to keep our voices down. Oh, hell, none of these people in this place are going to guess in a million years what could be in here. Well, then why are you worried about it? Because I know what's in there, and if Donnelly walks through there, he's going to know what's in there. Why? You don't think that he caught the little telecast yesterday? I knew you shouldn't have done that. Felicia, somebody has to make the first move. I'm just trying to get the foxes to come out of the hole. Well, they haven't come out yet. Just give them a chance, okay? You seem very nervous about this. I smell victory in the air. Why the sudden confidence? Well, for one thing, knowing that Slade is dead, that means Tony is safe. Now, the only thing I want to do is get the guy who is responsible for everything. That's Donnelly. Felicia, I am not going to be satisfied until I have the man who put my brother in a wheelchair. I think you drink too much by yourself. That's because it keeps me awake while I'm waiting for you all the time. Where the hell have you been? Upstairs. Where's the bag? Gone. What do you mean, gone? Like somebody took it? Oh, no, no. It's been put away. Where are the... the you... I hid them. No doubt another clever place, right? Yeah, very clever, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. Would you mind telling me where? Well, maybe I will, and maybe I won't. Why are we all of a sudden being so cute? Am I? Yes. You're acting like the cat who bagged the canary. Well, I just think I'm clever, that's all. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. Would you mind telling me why? I hid them in the bathroom. The bathroom? Mm -hmm. Should I ask where? I put them in a plastic bag and sunk them in the tank. The tank? Mm -hmm. You're right. Very clever. I thought you'd think so. Why didn't you just leave them under the bed? Well, Ruby's on the spring cleaning bed and I didn't want her to sweep underneath the bed or something and see them, you know, okay. the bathroom cleaner. All right, they'll be safe there for a few days, but we have to move them. Just so we've really got to stop doing this. We've got to stop moving the jewels around, and we've got to do something. We are doing something. What? We're waiting for the right moment, hey. okay? Hello. Hi. Hello there, man. Go ahead. Hi. How's your brother? He's fine, thanks. All for what happened on your birthday. Yeah. Well, at least none of us got hurt. Yeah, yeah thank God for that. Uh, Felicia, if you got a moment, I'd like to uh, talk to you about that orthopedic equipment that's in Bobby's basement. Sure. Well, um... I think I'd like to eat something first. All right, I'll get, you, I'll get you something to eat first. We'll talk about it later, okay? Okay, go on over and sit down, and I'll be right over to take your order. Thanks okay. a lot, honey. Here you are. Appears there'll be another home fight on the Senate floor. This late bullet just in. Port Charles Police report, a second bullet entered the body of Jack Slater, the gunman killed on the waterfront. Police ballistics say it wasn't fired from either a police pistol or the gun carried by the hero Sean Donnelly. The third attempt on the life Donnelly wasn't the only one at the Slater. At Kelly's Diner on the waterfront a few weeks ago. Every day I get to wait on a hero. Oh, I wish everyone would stop calling me that. 
But you were a girl. And it was very brave the way you went after that gun. I only acted on instinct. Well, all that good training in WSB. Probably. But the police say they found another bullet. I don't get it. Mm -hmm. Maybe it was one of the security people. Thank goodness he didn't hit Tony. Here, here. You know what this means, don't you? Yeah, that somebody other than Sean fired at Slater. Meaning there's somebody else out there. After Tony? Maybe. But I thought they were trying to kill Slater, not Tony. First Slater and then Tony. Do you really think so? Listen, Slater wanted to bump off Tony because Tony could expose Slater. Now, how do I know that this guy doesn't feel the same way? How could that be? Peter, maybe, if he's still alive. I don't know. I wonder if this killer's gonna quit. Nothing's gonna happen to Tony. Of where are you going? I'm gonna go home and see if he's okay. But what about the stuff upstairs? We'll talk later. I gotta go. Let's go. How's Tony? I'm gonna go home right now and make sure everything is all right. <laughs> I should go upstairs and get the rest of my things. You want some help? No, thank you. My room is so messy, I'd be embarrassed. <laughs> Are you sure you want to do this? I couldn't think of a better way to spend an afternoon than with a beautiful lady. Thanks, Sean. You're nice. Hmm. I can't tell you how unsettling it's been be being between a brownstone and here. Oh, I can imagine. Yeah, because that's the way I've got one foot in each place, but I don't live anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I've lived out of a suitcase often enough myself, so I know how you feel. I'll feel good when I get all moved in and settled. Well, why don't you just move it, and I'll wait for you here. Hi, Felicia. I'm about ready to take off. Is there anything else I can get for you? Mm, nothing for me, darling. Thank you. Well, maybe we can talk about that orthopedic equipment now. Sure. Well, which orthopedic equipment is that? The one Sean donated to the clinic. Uh, I have a boy who needs a special brace for his leg, and I was wondering what was the procedure to get it. Well, you know, Grant has it stored in the brownstone basement. Oh, is there any problem? Well, I haven't finished up with the inventory yet. Well, I'm sure they won't miss one brace. Well, finding the right size may take some time. How long? Well, I still have to do the inventory, and I intend to get to it today, but first I have to check up on some figures. I could have sworn I had 11 boxes, but it turned out that I had 17. Mm. Right now. I just got home from the hospital. Why? What news? The autopsy on Slater. Uh, he was shot twice. I don't understand. Donnelly shot him once. So there was a second gunman who shot him again? Yeah, it looks like it. Listen, I've told the guards to be on their toes, all right? So there's a possibility that the second gunman might be after Tony also? I'm just not taking any chances. Dear God! I thought this whole thing was over! Tanya. Don't worry about it, okay? Uh, you know, the second gunman might have just had a problem with Slater, and he was paying him back. Or maybe not. Or maybe not. Is this thing ever going to end, Frisco? Soon. Real soon. Take my word for it. Why, what are you up to? Uh, what's for dinner? I haven't decided yet, and you're changing the subject. That's right. Come on. Oh, I was going to go out and get something for dinner. I don't know. How's Tony doing? He's been acting real strange, Frisco. What do you mean? Secretive. He he wanted to see Dr. Rutherford today, and he wouldn't tell me why. He's in there with him now. He wouldn't say anything? No, not to me. Maybe he would ask you, Frisco, talk to him. Yeah, I will. Okay. Okay, well, I'm going to get going. I won't be long. All right.
Oh, hi, Doc. Hello, Presto. How's he doing? Well, um, is Tanya still here? No, she's split. Good, we can speak privately then. Why don't you have a seat? What's wrong? Well, it's a personal problem, and I'm going to have to trust to your discretion not to talk to anybody about it. It's about Tony? Yes. One of the symptoms of the partial paralysis that he's experiencing is impotency. Oh, right. But we know that that's only temporary. Well, it should be, but Tony seems to be reacting about it more than is necessary. Well, I guess any guy would. I mean, you know, think about it. Yeah, I'm sure you're right, but uh, at the same time, it's not good for Tony to brood about the situation. You see, Frisco, I think he has it in his mind that Tanya thinks will think less of a man of him because of all this. Oh, that's ridiculous, Doc. She's a speech therapist. I mean, she's dealt with victims before that have been in accidents. You know, she knows better than that. He'll come through it. Well, I think we're going to try some hormone shots. I tried to reassure him, but I don't think I got through. I scheduled for a whole series of tests next week. But I think it would be good if you would talk to him. I don't want to embarrass him. Frisco, it's very important that Tony get the right perspective on this. Right. That depression could affect his general health and his desire to get well. Right now, I see a man on the edge of despair. Yeah. I'll talk to him, Doc. He can't give up now. Especially after he's so close to, to being through with all this stuff about being killed. Right. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. supposed to be confidential. Confidential? I'm your kid brother. Remember? So what? Can you help me solve that problem? No. Tell me. But maybe the hormones can. I'm a neurologist, remember? Meaning what? I know the odds. All right, then tell me. Well, maybe... Maybe my... Maybe I'm not going to be able to make love with my wife. And maybe I'm not going to give her children. And sometimes... Sometimes when I'm in bed and I'm supposed to be asleep. I'm sorry, wait, just wait. When I'm supposed to be asleep, I hear her crying. And it may be about our baby. Don't do this to yourself. Tom. What am I supposed to do? I don't know. How would you feel? If Felicia wanted you to make love to her, and she couldn't do it, how would you feel about that? Probably kick the hell out of some walls. I can't do that. I'm so scared. <laughs> you know that I could kill everybody for doing this to you. Hey, what's going on in here? We're just planning a party, Tanya. You are? Yeah. I'm going to go get Felicia and we're going to come over for dinner if that's cool. Sounds yeah. good. Sounds good. Tony thinks it sounds good, too. I'll see you later. Okay. What do you want for dinner? Anything, whatever you want. Want everything? I'm glad Frisco decided to invite Felicia over for dinner tonight. Me, me too, I like Felicia. Yeah, they make a nice couple. Maybe this means they're getting back together. Hold on. Mm. 
Hi. Uh, next time I'll carry my ID. That security guard means business, doesn't he? Oh, well, I'm glad you could come by, Sean. No, I just wanted to see how Tony was doing. Hello, Tony. Uh, I'm glad you came by, too. I wanted to thank you for the other day. Oh, no, I was glad I was there. I really appreciate it. Get away from him! Hey, stop! Stop him! What's going on here? Dolly! 